guys, so today I'm going to show you how to convert your Google Slides animation into an iMovie. At this point, you should have at least 120 slides. Don't forget, you needed to have title slides. And then you also needed, when we scroll down here, you needed to have ending credits, okay? So, once you have your 120 slides minimum, go up to your slideshow. Make sure everything looks good. I'm not going to go through the whole one, but just kind of make sure it is how you like it. Once you have it finalized, you need to go to File, Download, click PDF Document. You're going to download your document, and now you want to put that over on your desktop so that it will be in a secure spot and you can find it. Next, we're going to open iMovie. You are going to create new, and you want to create a movie. So, create new movie. Now we're going to import media. So remember, where we copied, or where we exported our Google, our Google Slides, find that. It's going to pop up here and you're going to import selected. Now, once we have imported our file, we're going to drag it down. I like to change my settings so that I can kind of see more the length of my video. All right, once you have your video inserted, press play, start to watch it. This is going to move way too slow to be an animated video. So what I need to do is I need to make it run quicker. So up here, I am going to click on the little stopwatch, and I'm going to change my speed from normal to fast. And it's going to start out on the two times. And that did speed it up some, but it's still not quite at the speed that I want my movie to be. So I'm going to move it to the four times. This appears to be a good speed, so this is where I want to keep it. Now, do note that you could speed it up too fast, and then it's not, and it's going to kind of ruin your animation. It is a stop motion animation, so it is supposed to be a little jerky. So just be careful that you don't speed up your animation too fast. All right, so I have my animation uploaded, I have it at the correct speed. Now I need to add music so I can have a completed animation. We're gonna go back over to Google. You're gonna go to YouTube and you're gonna find you a song that you wanna use for your animation. I'm going to use Vampire Weekend because it's a fa fast, upbeat song that I think will go good with my animation. So I'm going to find that, find a video I want to use, click on it. Let's get through these ads and everything. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this link up here. So I'm going to command C and now I'm going to go over to Google and I'm going to type in convert YouTube video to MP3. Once I do that, I'm going to click on one of these converters, this YT MP3 video converter seems to or so far appears to work best. So if you can find this one, that's great. So now that um, link from my YouTube video that I copied, I'm going to Command V and paste it into here. Give it just a moment. Okay, so now sometimes these don't work. Sometimes they work great, sometimes they don't. So if you start running into this problem where it's taking a little longer, just go back to where we Googled. All right, and now I'm going to try this particular site. OK, 
Okay, once I do that, I'm going to hit download. So I'm going to download my MP3. Now, if it takes you to this secondary site, just click out of that secondary site. If you look down here, I've downloaded. So again, I want to make this come to my desktop so I can find it. I'm going to go back to iMovie. I'm going to two finger click on iMovie, go to import media. I am going to find my vampire weekend. I'm going to import the selected song and now I'm going to pull the song over. Now, obviously your song is going to be a lot longer than your video. So it may be that you want to use a particular chorus or a particular section of your said song. So now you need to edit. So it may be that you need to play your song and find out what part of the song you want to use. So see how the front of my song has this like blank space? So I want to cut that off so that it goes immediately into my song. And then I'm going to come down here and I just want to cut until, let's see, I want to move it over so that it lines up. We're going to cut it off and then transition. No, I'm not going to do that today. So I'm going to line it up. Whoop. Let's start from the beginning. If I can get it. There we go. All right, so let's start from the beginning, line it up, and let's see what it looks like. All right, we've got an animation. So, a couple of things. Song has to be appropriate, no foul language, no suggestive language. If there's a song you want to use that has such, you need to just use an instrumental. If you have to ask if it is appropriate, it is not appropriate. All right, have fun editing, and I can't wait to see your videos.